Greetings, salutations, and good day. We have a extremely, a, oh, excuse me, that's bad grammar, an extremely old uh, free for all here. I took a little vote on my Twitter <clears throat> um, as to what game I should post next, and I had like this is a choice, and something else is a choice, and something else is a choice, and people wanted to see this because. Uh, I guess not many people use the WA-2000, and that's a shame, because it's it's probably my favorite sniper. Uh, either this or the Barrett. I like this one, though, because I can use Hardline, and since the only map I snipe in is uh, Wasteland, and since air support completely destroys everything on Wasteland, uh, it's a good combination. But... Um, I recently posted a TDM on this map, but I didn't really get many kills. My air support pretty much did all the work, but uh, this is just showing you guys the power of this gun without stopping power. All you have to do is aim for the chest or higher. Um, kind of like, not really the chest even, kind of like the ribs, like the bottom of the ribs and higher. And that will be a one-shot kill without stopping power, as you can see right there. Well, that was a headshot, but <laughs> uh, you get the idea. And uh, I have the heartbeat sensor on it because, quite frankly, there's literally nothing else to put on it. I mean, uh, I don't really like the thermal. There's a good example of a chest shot being a one-shot kill. If you are a good marksman, pick the WA-2000 as your as your uh, sniper rifle of choice. I tag this guy a little bit. He's going to run off all goofy like Bigfoot. Like Bigfoot through a forest. <laughs> like a Wookiee. And uh, I kill him. And I think I'm making a mistake right around here. Um, my strategy for Wasteland and TDM and Free For All is to stay around the outside of the map. Here I'm just kind of scouting, looking around and scouting with my eyes before I zoom in so I don't get like tunnel vision. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. And this is really unrelated, and I don't know why I'm bringing this up, but if you guys ever played the map Sub Base, like, um,. And you play as the Marines or the Rangers or whoever's on that map. Listen to the characters' voices, like when they get a kill or when they reload. They're so like deep and, and creepy. Like, like you'll just be hearing nothing but like if it's a if it's a slow-paced game, you'll see your teammate kill someone and hear Dango down. Like it's really really deep. Like, and it's like reloading. Like it's so <laughs> it's so deep. That's what she said. Enemy AC-130 above. No. <laughs> and there, um, that's kind of embarrassing. I, I missed that first shot, and I thought I should have hit. And when I miss shots that I think I hit, I just kind of spam. And uh, that was bad accuracy. But I'm out in the open there. And that guy just kind of spawns there, and I get killed by him. He has some really slow aim. He just kind of lets me walk into his crosshairs. That's, that's embarrassing. I, I kind of hate dying to people with bad aim. There's a nice headshot, though. Uh... I had really good accuracy this game. My accuracy really isn't that good with the snipers because I this is the only map I snipe on, so I don't really get much practice. But um, yeah, and I mean this is a this is a really 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 old game. I think um, I, I got this game when I first got to level 70, so I didn't really have much as far as attachments and stuff. And I'm just nailing constant one-shot kills here. And uh, I'm using, I think, UAV, Harrier, and Pavlo, which, in my opinion, is one of the best killstreak setups to use um, with Hardline, because getting UAV at two kills is is amazing. Uh, in my opinion, UAV is probably the best, honestly, the best killstreak reward for what it is because it doesn't take much to get it's even less with hardline obviously and it helps your whole team and if I mean if you're playing a game with no team it helps you immensely like free-for-all because it shows you every enemy on the map I mean that's awesome for 30 seconds and uh, I actually couldn't see that guy and he had horrible accuracy because I was standing still and he did not kill me <laughs> and then I saw him fire like he was camouflaged with this Wookiee suit know that guy in the balls for my six kills and I get the Harrier and um, I kind of have that like song from Titanic the movie Titanic stuck in my head and it's, it's really annoying um, I don't know why I just said that either because that's not manly in the slightest and I'm gonna have to go do some manly things now like 
you know, like kick tree bark and eat nails and punt babies, stuff like that. But, uh, I, I guess I'm rambling. Anyway, get the uh, 8 kill streak for the Pavlo, and the Pavlo is just going to destroy everything because it's a Pavlo. It's piloted by Chuck Norris, and it's going to just destroy everything. Um, although I did get a few Pavlos in another game recently where, that were like piloted by Stephen Hawking, and that was um, some great reaction time there. I, I heard that guy running up on me. I turn around and just spray from the hip and get him. And that guy surprises me, so I spray him and kill him. And, uh, yeah. Gonna go to pick up his gun, but he doesn't have one, of course. I love when you kill someone and their gun just, like, fucking sinks in the ground. Like it's, like it's the movie Tremors or something. It's, I don't understand. And then I get killed by uh, a guy with the M16 right there, cold-blooded. Not much I can do. Um, see some guys in that little middle cavern, but it's I don't even go in there in TDM or free for all. Don't even go in there. I mean, it's it's um just a death trap, honestly. I, I really hate when I spawn in there in a, like free for all or something because it's so hard getting out because you never know you know where someone might be. Uh, the good thing about the WA-2000 is not only is it a kill from the chest up when unsilenced, if you silence it, of course, it gets weaker. And, uh, I guess I should mention real quick that stopping power has no effect on the, uh, WA-2000 unsilenced, but when it's silenced, it's actually the best silent sniper to use with stopping power. Um, just trust me on that. I'll cover that in my future gun guide. And I know this guy for the last kill, and I thought the two shots I fired before hit right here. Look at this. That looks like it hit. And then the third shot looks like it doesn't hit, but it kills him? Okay, well, uh, I finished that game 30 and 2. Um, hope you guys liked the video. Rate it, rate it whatever you feel it deserves. <coughs> Five stars, please, because ratings help this video. And, um... Comment if you'd like. I read all the comments for the first few days at least. And um, also my channel, the link to my YouTube channel is in the video description. Go check that out and go subscribe. Because cool kids subscribe to Blame Truth's YouTube channel. It's the cool thing to do. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Be sure to follow us on Twitter. There you'll find the latest updates from our premier directors and the Machinima Respawn team.